All right, I thought I'd uh, try out my uh, my logic analyzer plug, uh, my new Rigel scope. So some people might not have seen uh, mixed signal scopes that have both a, a digital logic analyzer and an analog scope uh, both together. And so let's give this a try. So I have my little Johnson counter running here. I did a video on uh, on different uh, counters using uh, GAL programming. I still have it sitting on the bench, so I was going to use it. So uh, the way that you use it is uh, you can hook up an oscilloscope probe and we'll take a look at the clock. And so this is the uh, the 555 running and we got a nice uh, get a nice clock. And so we want to take a look at the digital things. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to press the uh, logic analyzer button. You can either press it here, or you can press it here. There's a logic analyzer button here, and then you, then you get uh, logic analyzer traces, and you, and you still get your uh, your analog traces, so you can see them all at the same time. Uh, you can set it up so that uh, the little digital stuff's way down at the bottom, or you can make it medium so it's half of the screen, and then you can. Uh, oops. Let's see here. And then you can change your, uh, have your analog at the top and have your digital stuff at the bottom. That's kind of nice. Or you can make it just big. Um, all right. So we'll just have it, we'll have it big and we're going to turn off the, uh, well, first of all, we have a D0, D1, D2, D3, and D0 is the same as this clock I'm looking at here. So these signals down here should be the same as up here. That's great. Let's just turn off the analog part since we're not going to be playing with that. So let's, let's get rid of that. All right. Um, and so the problem with this is we need to be able to trigger on this, right? So how do you, how do you trigger on something that's kind of, that's kind of strange looking? Um, let's kind of back out of here a bit. There we go. So here's our Johnson counter, right? Click, 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 click. And here's our clock, clock down at the bottom. And we want to, uh, let's say we want to, we want to uh, trigger on the clock. Well, uh, we can do that. I don't want, I don't want this uh, scope crooked all the time. So let me, uh... okay. I'm sure you will appreciate that more having it nice and straight. All right. So let's see if we can uh, trigger on the, uh, on these things here. We'll go into the trigger menu and it says, uh, which is the source. So now we have uh, D0 through D6, so that's great. So we can uh, we come down in here and we can uh, we can set the uh, uh, trigger to channel zero. But but now this is stationary, but this is kind of wandering all around, right? When you touch it, you're you're highlighting the trace that you're interested in. So this one down here is is uh, the one that we're triggering on. Let's trigger on channel on a, a D1. All right, so let's see if we can't uh, trigger on this uh, thing down here. So let's try to trigger on this uh, a D1, try to trigger on the edge of D1. So in the trigger menu, here's the, here's the trigger menu. Uh, we can say edge and we can say we want D1. So we're gonna do D1 and we're gonna do rising edge. And there we go. Now we have the rising edge of D1, okay? So now let's go a little bit trickier here. Let's say that we want to um, trigger on the rising edge of the clock, but these three have to be high, okay? So let's see if we can't do that. So we'll go to, uh, let's see here, menu, edge. So instead of edge, we're gonna do a pattern. All right, and we're going to do a pattern of, we want a rising edge. Oops. This is the wrong place. I want to be over here. There we go. So I want to have a rising edge on the clock. And then I want the next two bit, the next three bits to all be one. And is that working? So 
it is working because there's a whole bunch of rising edges where all of these are high. So that wouldn't be, that wouldn't be good. All right. So let's see here. Let's say that that has to be that, but we're going to hold off and we're going to hold off for a uh, hundred milliseconds. Let's see here. 100 milliseconds. And is that working? No, that's not working. Maybe 50 milliseconds. Hold off. 50 milliseconds. Yeah, there we go. So you can use hold off um, as when not to re-trigger. Okay. So it's saying find find a trigger and then don't do anything for 50 milliseconds and then find the next trigger. And so that's the way it's, that's the way it's working. So we have a, uh, a high, high, high and a rising edge on the clock. So yeah, everything is, everything's working good. Anyway, it's very complicated. Um, you can set it up the triggering on all sorts of different things. You can have a trigger on a combination of the analog stuff, which is the channel one, two, three, four, mm -hmm. right? So you can say, okay, I'm going to trigger on the rising edge of the uh, analog signal with a bit pattern of such and such. And so you can combine the two, which is, which is really nice. All right. Another thing that you can do uh, here is the decode button. So this is the logic analyzer button. This is the decode button. The decode button allows you to decode serial data, I squared C, CAN bus, all kinds of stuff like that. Um, and in this particular one, let's see here. So bus types, yeah, RS232, I squared C, yeah, SPY, I don't know what LIN is, CAN, Flex, right? Don't know what that is. I2, uh, I2S is a uh, audio stream. Uh, anyway, uh, it, but parallel, we can do parallel and then we can uh, set a clock. We'll set the clock to D0 down here. We'll look for rising edges. When we see a rising edge, then we'll display the code. Uh, the code we can display uh, as uh, binary or hex. We could change this to hex. Uh, we can go back to binary. I like binary better for this application. And you can see it counting here. One, two, three, four, right? And uh, yeah, so we can, we can go out and then it can't see it because it's gone out too far. And we can do, what's an event table? Let's try that. Event table on data. Anyway, I don't know. <laughs> you can set up all kinds of stuff. I'm going to be for the next six months reading the manual for this thing and trying to figure out, uh, figure out what all it does. But uh, yeah, this is very valuable. Okay, just a quick look at the uh, at the logic analyzer functions, and uh, seems like it's quite capable. I'm going to have to learn more about it, and uh, yeah, put it to good use.